hi friends in this video let's talk about what is a rank function in sql server so the rank function is a kind of self explanatory function which will help us to give you the ranking to the sql rows it will help us to give you the ranking to the sql data so before going to work with a rank so you need to know like a two classes so first one is a partition class partition by class and order by class here so at least order by class is mandatory to work with a rank function but partition is not mandatory it is a kind of optional class for us and so here so we will be giving the rank based on the order by class so if you specify a order by in the order by class if you specify a column one so we will be giving you the ranking based on this particular column either ascending or descending so based on the column ascending or descending order so we will be giving you the ranking next so when you apply a partition as well so when you apply a partition as well so in that scenario so we will be giving you the rank we will be giving you the rank so we will be giving you the rank so based on the particular partition let us say you have a, a male uh, employees or male students and female students so then if you apply a partition class so then you will be dividing that male students and female students first then you will be giving a ranks separately so that is the purpose of partition you will be separating the students or employees based on the partition so then you will be giving the ranks to the students or employees so here to work with a rank function you need to know partition class and order by class so but partition by class is not a mandatory class but order by class is mandatory now let me show you one basic example how to give you how to work with a rank function so i have a table i have a student table so where i can show you this rank function if you see this so i have a student function so i have so i have a student table so which are of having six rows so with of four columns id student student name marks and gender so if you see i have male students as well as female students and if you see the marks so 34 40 60 35 60 and 40 now i want to give the ranking to the students based on the marks so based on the marks first first one is i want to give the rank based on the based on marks alone without any gender so i am going to take marks as a primary concept for me to give the ranks so if you see the marks here i have a 260 marks here i have a 260 marks and i have a 240 marks so if you go with a rank function if you go with a rank function so you will be giving ranks to this six students and so what is uh, uh, 60 like you have 260 marks so then you need to give first mark to first rank to the 60 marks so these two people will be getting the first rank and so if you use a rank function then first two ranks like a first two ranks is already allotted to the two people kate and chris already got the first two ranks so then you need to start with a three third rank so then you need to search for a third rank if you see the third rank marks 40 and 40 so again here if you see that so two people got the same 40 marks so then that time you need to give three rank to these two people rank three and rank three so why we need to give rank three here why not two because first two ranks is already allotted to the two students so then that is the reason why we started from three and again if you see here third rank got two students so then so two students will get the same rank three three then the next rank is going to start from the fifth because the two ranks is already occupied means three and four means internally if you understand three and four is already occupied then you need to start with five so then like a five rank 35 marks is only one student then you can give five and the last student is 34 that is six now if you understand here so how the rank function is going to work so the rank function is going to allot the rank based on the marks if the two students get the same marks then it will give you the same rank and the next rank is going to start based on the count of ranks let us say here count of say means 
So here two people got the same rank. That is the reason why next rank started from three. Like again, so three rank got the uh, two people. Then I need to start from five. So this is how my rank function is going to work when I use only order by class. Now let me write a query on the top of it. So here I'll be using the same students table to generate a rank for it. Select. So I'm going to take the columns ID student. I need that. First, let me make it as uh, from students. Okay. So then let me write it. So ID student, comma, student name. Yes, I need a student name as well. Student name, comma. Let me make it as a marks as well, comma. So I, may, I need a gender as well, gender, comma. So I need a rank now, rank. Rank is a function. If it is a function, you need to open and close with, with a parenthesis over on what basis I need to generate a rank. I need to generate a rank based on the marks. So here order by here. I will be using only one class order by column is marks. So either ascending or descending. I am going to give the rank based on descending. So and I need to give a alias name as a rank. Rank. Okay. So now let me run this query. Only this query. If you see this. Yeah. So the Kate and Chris with the 60 marks got the first rank and the remaining Gary and Williams got the uh, third rank because second rank is already occupied uh, with the first two people. And now even here also the fourth rank is already occupied with these four uh, two people. That's the reason why it starts from fifth and sixth. Now if you see this here, so this is how it has been here. The same result we got here. So because the rank function is going to skip the ranks if the particular rank is already occupied uh, then the rank is going to skip that particular number but in the dense rank you will not be skipping that it will be continuing with a one two three four like that <clears throat> so this is how the rank function is going to work now let me show you how to include a partition by so if i include a partition by so then let me go for it <clears throat> to give the ranks based on partition and order by see then so the ranks are going to vary so first i am going to partition so based on the gender okay so then let us say if you see so gender so female and male right totally i have male and female so let's call let's make it as f and m so here in this scenario first i'll be getting female employees if you see how many female employees are there in my system i have two female employees so these two people will be getting the ranks first so then if you see the female kate will be getting one because it is partition kate will be getting one next the other one is who is the other female williams williams will be getting the second rank so because partition has been applied on the top of the gender and order by marks actually marks des and descending order so then these two will get then the partition will be started for males. So the other males will be getting like this. So what is the other males? Uh, yeah, Chris will be getting first rank. Next, um, Gary will be getting the second rank. So there is no skipping here because so uh, once you uh, party, once you apply partition based on the gender, then so there is no other uh, people gets the same marks here if you see. So that is the reason why there is no skipping here. Next, these two Tim and uh, John will be getting three and four. There is no skipping. There is no hold. Now let me write a query to show you these results. So this is the result you will get when you apply a partition on the top of the on the top of the uh, students table. So let me write a query. So let me keep the as it is the uh, top query. Let me write a separate query to generate a rank based on the partition and order by classes. Now let me write it. Select uh, from students select from students so here i will be writing id student i need all the columns id student comma uh, student name comma marks comma gender comma here i will be writing a rank function rank is a function you need to open and close with parenthesis over partition by and what column I need to do the partition as discussed I will be doing a partition based on the gender and order by marks 
marks the ESC. Okay, so here I will be putting as rank. So this is how I will be writing the partition by class and order by class in the same rank function. So now let me run my query. If I run this query, so if you see this here, now the partition has been applied based on the gender first. See, that is the reason why the first two records got one and two. And because this is a female partition is happened and for the first females rank has been uh, provided. Next for the males rank has been provided. So this is how my partition is going to work in the rank functions. So here there is no skipping of ranks because so none of the two people in the same gender got the same marks. That is the reason why there is no skip happened when you apply a partition. So now you need to decide. So uh, while generating a rank, do you, do you need to apply a partition or not? So in the next video, so we will talk about, so what is a dense rank and what is a dense rank and so what is the differences between rank and dense rank and so we will talk about what are the final differences between row number, rank and dense rank functions. Thank you. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and uh, provide your valuable feedback in the comments section. Thank you.